All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Heavenly Delusion episode seven. Last episode was a very, uh, it was an episode. Uh, <laughs> obviously not a bad episode, but um, a lot of, a lot of horniness. I'll just say it like that. Um, yeah, funny ass. It kind of it was funny to be honest. In a lot of moments, it was funny. Um, Mario was on his dingy shit, <laughs> jumping straight after being told he could touch some boobs. That was funny as shit. Um, and then, yeah, we are moving on now. We met this girl who tried to sleep with Maru, but um, they were like, nah. And it was like, hey, you want to come with? And she was like, nah. So now we're on our travels again. Um, excited to see what's going to happen this episode. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. <laughs> this dude cannot write. I kill man eaters. <laughs> wow. They do indeed, yeah. I guess these two are just sharing a brain cell at the moment. Fish. Pretty nice. Just camping in the middle of the road? Okay. Odd number of fish and they're all different sizes. Oh. <laughs> You look so good when you're quiet. What? <laughs> He's trying to act cool. Who this? Some like doctor shit. Is it the doctor? I don't remember the name. Was it Dr. Usami? Oh, is this the immortal order, I assume? Ah, okay, it's not him then. They don't recognize him. Jigo, <laughs> Jigo. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god, they're a different group. That's funny. Interesting. So they're running some kind of hospital, hospital with doing experiments on people? That's what these guys' signs were saying. This guy sounds familiar. He sounds like the narrator from Lover's War. <laughs> Got you both pegged. Seen it. Seen what? Oh, this was the Dr. Usami. Not going to tell us what it is? That's fucking creepy. Younger. Could have done a face transplant. Could have done a body transplant. Like happened to Kiriko. And you want us to kill it. Oh, you can see her scar now. He's just going to walk around butt naked. <laughs> Maru. This fucking guy. Yeah! Man is trying his best not to be horny right now. Just some kind of religious order as well, to be honest. And now you can't walk. It's just a bit of metal and a strap. Like, keep it to your leg. So I guess these guys are here to make a big distraction. Ah, he's a spy. Very cool. What should be some crazy ass man eater? Some big motherfucker or something. I don't like this. There's been invisible man eaters. You're letting your guard down. Possibly. But it also could be invisible. Could also be right on top of you. I hope he's just over-exaggerating right now. And they're not actually, like, trapped. 
man eater. Man eater eggs. Fuck is it? Touch it. Maru, quickly. Gone. See, if that's like a baby, and there's like a mother nearby, you've just pissed them right off. Oh, these are eggs. There is, there is, this is a problem. Jesus Christ. Mara, get your ass over here. I don't like this shit. Unless we've been used as bait to be food. I wouldn't waste your ammo until they're right up close. What? You can phase through fucking walls? Hell nah, dude. If these things could escape, they would have they would have escaped by now. Brother, touch them. They look like little astronauts. Well, their faces do anyway. What? The gun not work? Heck? Like man eater machines. Oh! Oh no! I'm gonna take her fucking arm! Oh shit, bro! This is messed up. Help! Ooh! My fucking toe! Z Jesus Christ, dude. Are we gonna get hella implants then or something? What the f Bitch. What? Was that a hallucination? Bro, kill this fucking thing. Why did you kiss her to do that? What's wrong with you, Mara? You just jealous? Gone. Easy peasy. Yeah, bro, I, I really thought Kiriko was done for. So the, like, the hypnotizing didn't work on Maru then? <laughs> bro went in for a second kiss. Who the fuck is this? The doctor? He's got a gun. Um... Don't be angry. Don't you dare fucking point that gun at me. Oh. Two jobs one day? Let's go. This can't be like... Like I was originally saying, the, the doctor they're looking for. This is him. That's him. Yeah. So as I was just saying, the doctor that they're looking for... I don't think, like I was saying, like possibly he may have like transferred his own consciousness into maybe a younger body. But I mean, he's looking at them right now, and unless he's just trying to play it off, like he 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 doesn't look like he knows them at all. So again, it's probably not him. Um, I think it would be way too soon to find him anyway. I don't know, maybe. But yeah, overall, a very good episode. I was crapping myself there when I thought Kirika was actually being fucking amputated and shit or getting a shit chopped off but um yeah overall a very good episode two interesting factions going on here the immortal order and this other faction whose name i've forgotten but one is like no fuck tech we don't need that shit anymore and we're also a hospital and then the other one's the immortal order which from what the other group says are bad people we don't know that yet, though. I mean, they were clearly experimented on someone, chopping up, up, chop them up into little pieces, turn them into a machine, from what the woman said. Um, and then for some reason, there were shits in their basement as well, but then he kind of seemed happy that we were able to kill it. So, I don't know, more mysteries. Who would have thought in Heavenly Delusion? Not me. But yeah, overall, very good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.